Hey guys, so today I thought I'd show you my setup and the new upgrade system for my game. How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you all of the shit that you don't need to start making games and start your own YouTube channel so that I can get rich off of affiliate marketing. But before we get into it, make sure you smash the like button, fuck the subscribe button, and make sure you leave a comment down below. Now without further ado, let's get right into the video. So today we're going to be going over my sick YouTube and game development setup. Now this is the camera that I use and it's the same camera that high budget films use to record their cinematic masterpieces. Now if you record with anything cheaper than this, it's really going to show and the audience is not going to want to keep watching your videos. Now once you have your camera, you're also going to need to invest in some nice lighting equipment. Nobody's going to want to watch your videos if your lighting looks like shit. With all this great video recording equipment, you can get some sick shots. So for my camera, I actually just use my iPhone and certainly there are better options out there, but there's a certain grain, a certain shittiness to the video quality that you can only get with an iPhone. I also have this really nice tripod for it, which is adjustable in height. Yeah, that that's a cardboard box. For lighting, I try to sit near a window or just grab all of the lamps in my house. Finally, I have this microphone, which I got for like $20 on Amazon. And again, while the quality's not perfect, at least nobody's ears are bleeding. For the most part. Anyway, that's enough about the setup. Over the last few weeks, I started implementing an upgrade system into the game. After clearing each room, you'll have the option of three different upgrades. However, you have to be careful because with each upgrade also comes a downgrade. Hold on a second. What's this? Alright guys, moving on to my desk, I have this sick standing desk that moves up and down automatically via remote. Now, you guys are really gonna need to get yourself one of these because sometimes you just get tired of sitting down. Next, we have my chair. And thanks to the sponsors of this video, I actually got this $1,000 chair for free. And I really cannot recommend it enough. This thing is such high quality and you can't overspend on a chair because a nice chair can actually save you thousands of dollars in back surgeries down the line. So you wanna make sure that you have a chair that gives you great lumbar support like this one here. My link is in the description. Again, your chair is one of the best ways to flex on your viewers because it's one of the first things that they see when they click on one of your videos, much like the start menu in a game. As you can see here, I've got my start menu totally pimped out. I've also included this cool tutorial button for anyone who sucks at the game. So here's my desk and chair. Um, they're both pretty old. In fact, I think both of them have been in my family since I was born. You can actually still see some old piss stains here. Nice defensive features in the back too. Oh. Yeah, anyway, I like how much give this chair has. You never know if you're going right into that sweet spot or all the way to the floor. The chair's not that important because I like to keep things fresh by doing half my work from the couch or my bed anyway. Speaking of keeping things fresh, with only 4 levels the game was too small and repetitive. So I went ahead and added 30 new levels with 5 different level layouts. Alright guys, next, let's check out the hardware. As you can see, I have a sick multi-monitor display. Now I actually have two computers, my desktop and my laptop. My desktop is custom built with a sick mechanical keyboard and very nice gaming mouse. I also have a Razer 5000X Ultra laptop, which I like to use for editing my videos 
Meanwhile, I use my desktop mainly for porn and game development. Now it's really important that both of these things run super fast because I just implemented a brand new random map and level generator into my game which could take up to about a hundredth of a second on a slower device. So this is my laptop and this is what I do literally everything on. Um, it's a little over five years old at this point, but it's still powerful enough to do anything I need it to. I also have this Gaiomon drawing tablet, which is really nice to have, but definitely not a necessity. I only recently started to use this thing in my UI design for the start menu, upgrades, and the map. Finally guys, we have our art center, and you really do not want to hold back here. I use a state-of-the-art Wacom drawing tablet, which can register over 10 million different pressure levels. Now I really wouldn't recommend doing art on anything less than the tablet that I have, because if you do, you're just gonna look like an amateur. I mean, you can't do art with only a mouse. It's literally impossible. So yeah, that's my setup. Now, I don't want you to get the wrong idea, I am super blessed for everything that I have. I just don't want anyone to feel like they need shit like this in order to make YouTube videos or games or really for any other reason other than to flex on everyone else. Now, I'm also not saying that there's anything wrong with having a setup like this. In fact, I wish my setup looked like that. All I'm trying to say is that a couple of rainbow LEDs are not going to make the difference in your success. Then again, what the fuck do I know about success? I'm sitting here at under 400 subscribers acting like I have all the answers. On second thought, maybe I do need some rainbow LEDs. Anyway, for those of you who are interested, I'll leave you with a few really cheap and simple things you can do to increase the quality of your videos and equipment. Tip number one is to get a microphone. Having decent audio quality is so important because people would prefer to watch a video with slightly grainy footage or just a screen recording in the background that sounds like this rather than a video with 4K high quality video that sounds like this. Now I'm not saying you need to break the bank on a $200 microphone. All I'm saying is that anything is a whole lot better than nothing. Tip number two is that lighting matters. Now again, I'm not telling you to go buy professional lighting equipment. All I'm saying is that there's a difference between just flipping on the camera and recording a video as fast as you possibly can, and taking some time and effort to think about the lighting before you start recording. Of course, there's hundreds of tutorials out there that tell you how to improve your lighting. However, I just kind of move lights around in my apartment until something looks right. Tip number three is to use a green screen. I know that using a green screen can be seen as maybe a little tacky or cringy, but it's a lot better than having an unpleasant or messy backdrop. Using a green screen will also let you do some really fun and creative things when you're editing the video. And also if you're a game developer like me, it'll allow you to show off your game footage in the background of the video when nothing else is going on. Tip number four is to buy an adjustable laptop stand. Rather than spending $600 on a brand new standing desk, you can buy a laptop stand for about $30, put that on top of your existing desk, and voila, you have a standing desk. You can also use these as a portable desk for your bed or the couch if you don't want to stand up all day, but you have a crappy office chair like me. Tip number five is to upgrade your computer. Now, if you have a crappy slow computer and you have enough money to buy a new one, you don't need me to tell you to go buy a new one. Now, if money is tight and you can't afford a brand new computer, or if your computer works fine and it's just a bit slow, 
There are some simple hardware upgrades you can make like upgrading the hard drive to an SSD or adding more RAM to your computer which will really increase the performance of the machine. A few months ago I was ready to give up on my laptop, however I did both of these upgrades for it and now it runs way better. I hope you found at least one of those tips to be helpful. Anyway, since the last devlog, I've done a lot more work on the game than I've shown in this video, and the game is nearly at a playable state, so stay tuned for more info on how you can start playing my game, and I should have another video coming out in the next couple of weeks. Oh, for fuck's sakes, not this guy again. Alright guys, and if you want to know more about any of the items I talked about today, remember to go down to the description below and click on my affiliate links. Feel free to go nuts too because I get a percentage of whatever money you spend when you click on my link. Thanks guys.